Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. You are welcome to Fusion Mobile e-learning platform. I'm Olo Kobe Polimi by name. I'm the accounting tutor. So in this class, we'll be treating introduction to accounting and bookkeeping. So this is the course outline, meaning of accounting and bookkeeping, importance of accounting and bookkeeping, use of accounting information, limitation of accounting and information, history of accounting, professional bodies. First thing, the meaning of accounting and bookkeeping, which is the first in our outline. Let me start with this. Imagine you are the owner of a business. I'm very sure your main purpose is for you to determine the performance of the business. That is, whether the business is properly run or not, or whether the business is making profits or, or loss. So, the purpose of determining this performance or profitability of the business is accounting. So, the word accounting has been defined in various ways as the language of business. Firstly, let's look at the difference between accounting and the word bookkeeping. Accounting has been defined as the process of recording, classifying, selecting, interpreting, and summarizing the financial data of an organization in order to enable the users to make financial decision or economic decision. Why bookkeeping is the process of recording the day-to-day -day activities of the business, which means the word bookkeeping is a special or integral part of accounting, which is only with the process of what recording. Now, the importance of accounting and bookkeeping. Generally, accounting and bookkeeping is important in day-to-day -day activities of the business or an organization. So the importance of bookkeeping is as does. Number one, it shows the financial position of the business. That is, it gives the owner of the business the idea of the property owned by the business and the words and the and the liability owned to the outsiders. Then number two, it provides permanent record for the organization the permanent record of all business transactions of the business. Then number three, it shows the total amount of assets and liabilities of the business. Number four, number four, number four, it shows the amount of debt and owned to the hazardal and the amount of debt owned by the hazardal to the business, which means the debtors and the creditors. Now, Let's go to the users of accounting information. Accounting inf the users of accounting information, which is this, okay? We've done this, this. Now, the users of accounting information. Users of accounting information as does the owner of the business. Second, the employee of the business, which is the staff. Thirdly, The government, the creditor, customer, potential investor, and servants, tax authority. Now, the owner of the business as a user of accounting. The owner of the business, we need accounting information to know the word performance of the business. How the business is run. Is the business properly run or is badly run? Is it really making profit or is driving loss during the process of the business? And again, the employees. The employee, we need accounting information to determine or to know maybe the business Will be able to retain, will be to able to retain them in the business. That is, will they be able to have job security in the business? Why the government? Okay, will be able to determine 
with the business be able to meet its social responsibility in the, in the society? Social responsibility in different ways, and something like that. They are the creditor. They just don't want to know the credit worthiness of the business. Would the business be able to meet its meet its obligation within a certain period of time? Well, the customer. The customer will want to know whether the business will be able to whether the business will be able to provide its services to them when such services is required by them. Well also the potential investor. The potential investor is a person that is interested in sharing the interest of the business by contributing some part of what capital to the business. So they want to know if total amount of assets owned by the business and the liability owned by the business and tax authority. Tax authority we need accounting information for tax assessment in order for them to determine total amount of tax to be payable by the business to the profit made by the organization. So, this, so that means we've done this. Now the limitations of accounting. Account is off this limitation because it is historical in nature. That is all information given by accounting are past events. In, in that accounting cannot provide futuristic information to the management in order to manage the words the business properly in the in the future. And number two, all of the transaction are recorded in monetary term. Yeah? All transactions in the business are recorded in monetary term. There's no record of personal events or personal judgment in accounting. All of the information must be in what? Monetary terms. We serve as limitation. Numbers. So history of accounting. The history of accounting is as old as man. And this can be traced to the period of um, to the kingdom of Babin, Babylon, whereby the process of the major process of accounting, which is recording, is being carried out. Whereby, whenever there is transaction, that is the process of buying and selling between them in the period, what would they do? They were going to record such thing, such transaction, whether in the on the wall or any form of writing materials. So, during this period, accounting, the business of accounting starts growing up gradually, gradually, until 1494, whereby the father of accounting brought the process of double entry principle, which serves as the major knowledge of accounting now, which is. And the, which is the car Pasiolo. So the Capasolo in 1494. The Capasolo in 1494 brought the principle of double entry in existence in such a way that in heavy transaction there must be two fold effects. That is, there must be a giver in the transaction and there must surely be a word, a receiver in any words transaction so through that process through that process different professional organization come up whether I, whether I as far as in england scotland different professional organization was formed which is for accounting was formed institute of chartered accountants of scotland was formed Also in England, Institute of Chartered Accountant, Accountant was also formed. Now let's go. Let's come to this great country, Nigeria. How did accounting evolve? The, the development of accounting in Nigeria was brought by 
aqui o Mi Williams. So now this is this aqui o Mi Williams from Icon, and then the major objective of Icon then, the major objective of Icon then is to train individuals in the process of accounts in the process of accounting. Now, professional bodies. Different professional bodies have been formed to train professional accountants or to train accountants in the process of accounting, especially in different countries of the world. Chartered Institute of Ireland. Chartered Institute of Ireland has been formed to train accountants in Ireland. That is from CII. Different professional bodies have been formed to train accountants in the process of accounting in different countries. Firstly, we have Chartered Institute of Accountant of Ireland. Secondly, we have Chartered Institute of Accountant of England and Wales. Institute of Chartered Accountant of Nigeria, which is ICANN, the professional body responsible for the process of accounting in Nigeria. Fourthly, we have Association of Chartered National Accountant of Nigeria, the second professional bodies of accounting in Nigeria. And lastly, we have Association of Certified Chartered Accountant, which is ACCA, the Worldly Professional Accountancy Body.